Hi everybody. Today we're going to learn to make an African talking drum. The real name is Dun Dun. D U N D U N. Dun Dun. But a lot of people call it a talking drum because if you squeeze it, it will change pitch and you can pretend it's talking to you. Okay, so we're going to need a few things to get started. I'm going to make a smaller drum because uh, I think your smaller kids are going to be playing the instrument. So I think it will fit better under their little arms. So you can start with some tomato sauce in this kind of can. This is a 29 ounce can of tomato sauce. I think it cost about $1.50. And then I got these bowls at the dollar store. You don't really need the bowl part. What we're after is the lid. And in particular, we're after just the rim here. So I'll show you how to take the, the plastic out and cut these off. And then what we'll tape, put tape over that. So you can see the rim I have here. And I have packing tape, just a simple roll of packing tape. And I've made like a drum head, this nice sturdy plastic rim. The, tr the trick to making the drum is a very sturdy plastic rim. And these snap lid containers fit the bill. You want your lid to be bigger than your can. So if you were going to use a big coffee can, you'll have to find a big snap lid or some other very sturdy, uh, I call it a rim or a hoop to go over. You might think about a dryer vent for a hoop, a dryer vent clamp or embroidery clamp might work. This is the trick. This is the hard part. But this plastic lid really works well. And I'll show you how to tape it on here. And so we're halfway done to building our own Dun Dun. I'll be back after I empty the tomato sauce out of this can, wash it, and take both sides off. Okay, so I've cut both ends off of my tomato uh, sauce can and I've rinsed it out nice. And uh, luckily this is the kind of can that doesn't leave a sharp edge. So parents, you might want to make sure uh, if there's a sharp edge, maybe put some tape or just have the kids be careful. All right. And so we're going to take the two cans together. I'm just going to line up the seams so it looks nice. So I'm going to put some uh, packing tape just to tape the two cans together. Now once you have them taped together and it feels pretty solid, if you'd like to get some self-adhesive uh, contact paper uh, or or tape on some construction paper, that's fine. You could, uh, if you want to make this a longer, longer project, uh, if you want to take some spray paint and spray this, and then of course you'll have to wait for the paint to dry. I'm just going to leave mine all natural, kind of an industrial look. All right, the next thing you're going to do is uh, you just need the lid. You don't need the bowl. You just need the lid. So the first thing I'm going to do is just snip off these tabs. So I've got the tabs snipped off. Now this is the part you're definitely going to need some adult supervision on uh, because what we're going to do, you see the aqua green, aqua blue ring? We just want that part of the lid, okay, because that's how we're going to form the like drum head, okay? So we just want to do that. So I have an X-Acto knife. And it's very time consuming and it's quite dangerous. So parents, this is uh, the part that you will definitely need to help with your kids. Perhaps while you're cutting the lid out, they could be decorating their can. They could maybe put the contact paper on or put some construction paper on and so forth. I tried uh, using scissors this way. The X-Acto knife is just time consuming but makes a nice smooth cut. So I'll get that finished and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so it took about two, three, five minutes to uh, get all the way around. Make sure you put your, your knife away. That's, you won't need that anymore. And you can see I've cut the center out. And I have a really nice, uh, sturdy uh, circle, a rim or a hoop to build my drum head. All right, I've, I've done the first one already just to save some time. I'm done with my cutting board too. So I'm gonna set that down. Uh, this is where, if you have a helper, it would be kind of helpful. 
But you want to cut a piece of tape. Uh, the trick is we want the, the head to hang a little bit below the rim of the drum. So loosely apply that tape. And then you can scoot it to the position you want. With a helper, it goes a little bit quicker, but there, I've got it. Okay? And you just put some more layers on. The greatest part about uh, this for kids is that if they were to hit it too hard and pop through the tape, just add, a, you don't have to take it apart or anything, just add another layer of tape on and away you go. And maybe one more. All right, and you can just jiggle it off so you get the, the edges on nice and smooth and tight. Remember, you do want it to be uh, a little bit concave or convex, whichever side you're looking on it, like a giant contact lens, okay? A giant co a contact lens for a cyclops. Uh, okay, so put this on, center it up a bit. All right, we're so close to done here. Oops, that didn't get on there the way I want it. There we go. Okay. And now we need our strapping tape. Strapping tape is a little different from packing tape. And we're going to use strapping tape uh, because it has those fibers in it that'll help keep uh, from breaking. So a little bit longer than the drum itself. Attach one end here and one end to here. Then you can fold that over. We'll do the opposite side now. Uh, the cat in the process is completely optional. Uh, we call our cat the inspector. Whenever we have um, things we're doing around the house, he comes by to inspect for us. Right, kitty? All right, we're getting somewhere. Oh, you can see that I'm folding the tape just so it doesn't get sticky on our arms when we go to play it. Give me the kitty tape. I want to make this one a little bit tighter. There we go. Right now what I'm doing is loosening it up a little bit, pressing down, and then making the tape uh, tighter. I'm doing that by pressing down on the head pretty strongly. I'll do it the same on this side. So loosen it. Press it down pretty good. So I think I'm going to add some more tape on here and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I've taken the time to put extra tape on. Um, so make sure when you start, you put one here, then on the other side, and then once you have them in place, you can loosen it up a little bit and really press down, make that as tight as you can. Um, then you have all the straps here and that fit right under their arm. And The harder you squeeze it, the higher the drum will sound. Alright, and again, if they pop through the head with their wooden spoon, just put some more tape across. Uh, you might have to periodically uh, take this off, press down, and reseal. If that starts to get a little bit loose, you could just tape around. But, and again, let them decorate if they want to decorate before you put the heads on. Uh, this is what a real Doom Doom looks like. This one I have gotten from Ghana in West Africa. Uh, this is a Doom Doom. You can see it's an hourglass shaped drum. You can see the number of uh, straps we have here. This is made of like a rope. And these are made of skins of an uh, animal, probably a goat. But the same principle is you press. Now 
okay? So you can make different pitches. Again, the bigger the can, remember your hoop has to be bigger than the can. Uh, that looks like a good inch, inch and a half, okay? And then the higher pitched drum. So you can make drums of all sizes and have kind of like a little ensemble. This would be the high drum. Well, the hope you enjoyed that. You didn't need very many tools. The hardest part was cutting the plastic rim out. So think about maybe embroidery hoops, uh, something else that's already made if uh, you don't have, have or want to, the kids to use the X-Acto knife. I pulled that off. I'll just simply put it back on. <laughs> okay? And again, just prepare it as needed. And make your uh, chili tonight because you used up some tomato sauce. I'm Sarah Waters, and I'm a member of the Lyman Symphony Orchestra Percussion Section. Happy drumming!